day everyone in today's video I'm gonna show you how um, writing test computer-based look like so in this one the screen will look like this we still have the confirm your details your name will be provided in this area your date of birth your candidate number and if all the details are correct you confirm and then you click this button and then there are um, some instructions here so this is the writing task one with um, the candidate number will be up here on this um, area here and the instruction so this is um, equivalent to one hour task one is for 20 minutes and task two is for 40 minutes so we will start the test and this is really the actual reading um, test looks like so you have computer based so you have to start start test and we have here the task one now in this screen you can see the time limit so that's 60 minutes all up 20 minutes for task one and 40 minutes for task 2 so in this um, screen you can see the instruction you should spend about 20 minutes on this task write at least 150 words so this one the chart shows the number of trips made by children in one country in 1990 and 2010 to travel to and from school using different modes of transport so in this um, area this is the the task one question and if you want to scroll down just click in the middle and scroll down and you can read the rest of it so we have here a, a bar graph which will be going to answer and on the right side is your uh, the space where you're gonna write your answer so you just click on here on any area of this um, big rectangle box we also have here the word count so it's a bit uh, easier than the paper base because at the paper base you don't know how much how many word words already you have written so in this one you have a word count so let's um, let's try a bit later but we'll have a look first what are the functions of these other buttons in here so we have here the help button on the right top corner so we try to click that the task help is to choose a question click oh this is only um, um, telling us how to to use the like the bar how to how to use these numbers in the bottom and just telling us what are these um, icons for the time the information and everything so this is our time limit at the moment so if you want to go to have a break or you want to go to the toilet and you don't want other people's seeing your answer you can click hide and then when you come back um, if you want to go for the, a break your your time is still running so just be mindful that um, it's not being paused or anything so if you leave the room you should tell the invigilator and then you click the button so you presume the test so that's the hide the hide buttons for so now we'll start writing on this and see if it works so we will just pretend that we are answering this area so I'm not really good at the moment I'm still practicing my um, my my skills in because I'm gonna be doing my computer-based exam this coming May 31st so I'll just try with this one so this one here is a bar chart so we will write down the bar chart gives information about uh, we'll just say 
that travels travels to and from school by children using different mode of transport in the year 1990 and 2010 then overall and then you're gonna scroll down like that um, we'll just say overall walking walking um, was the most was the mostly used and cycling as the least mode of transport use so so you can change your spelling if you have a mistake easy and then as you can see here you can really um, see how much word count you are on so it's not really um, stressful knowing that you are in a good and in the right timing and um, right wording so the word count now is 40 and the more you write down um, it's just gonna keep counting so you will know when to stop so at the moment we'll just use this as an example so you can scroll down scroll up you can change your spellings anytime you can review after you write all your answers you can review and change again until the 20 minutes or one hour is finished and then you can review here as well you can click that one or review and then it tells you that you that you will be going to review that area and the yellow button here as well is um, if you want to make the navigation bar small so just click that and now you can see that that's number one is gone and then you can just click back again the yellow arrow here in the bottom so that is for the writing task one computer-based exam look like so this is how it looks like on a computer-based you don't need to um, transfer uh, any of your answers on an answer sheet of paper so once you've all done writing here and once you've corrected it and um, if the time is up your answers will be saved automatically so that's the writing task one computer-based exam on IELTS computer-based academic writing task two now we will have a look how the writing task to look like on a computer-based exam on IELTS in this area you will be spending 40 minutes on this task and write at least 250 words now in this is um, the second part of the writing test we have a um, a topic we will which we will be giving a uh, writing an essay on it's either a agree or disagree statement or cause and effect or um, that you can expect any kind of questions or topic in here but the main thing you have to remember is you have 40 minutes on this task and you have to write at least 250 words so in this task you have a similar um, screen with the academic writing part one you have here the topic in the left side 
and you have here the box to write on on the right side which also have a word count same as the uh, part one writing test you have a time limit here on top screen which will give you time and once it's um, five minutes or ten minutes left this um, time here will go red and also we have the help button here on the top right corner which is similar to the first one the hide button and if you want to resume the test you can resume the test it also has the review section if you want to review the um, the task one you can click that and then we also have here the yellow switch view to navigation summary now in this area we don't have the um, the scrolling down bar in the middle because the questions just is short and you can just look here without scrolling down so it's enough for that space however in this um, box here if you write more than that space then you can scroll down but at the moment we don't have any there so it just stays as is but we will try writing something and let's see our word count will work so that is the writing task 2 at the moment I don't have the answer for this yet but I will just um, write anything on this area and see how it go so the question would be the average standard of people's health is likely to be lower in the future than it is now so I will just copy that paragraph there just to show you the word count I'm not this is not the answer but I will just copy that question there to here so I'll say the average standard of people's health so as you can see there is a word count here in the bottom so that's one two three four five six so that's six words all up that's we have written on the box so may uh, keep in mind that you have to put at least 250 words in this task so it's very good to have that word count in there at least you will know how much how many words already have you put in and also we also have the time limit here on top which is very good also at the same with the other test um, in computer based you don't have to transfer your answers in any paper based uh, answer sheets so it's the answer stays here on this box and once the time is finished um, it will be automatically stored in the computer and this is how it's gonna look like when the time is finished so now we have um, as you can see here on top we have 19 18 seconds left so when it's uh, like five minutes left this um, time limit here goes red um, once you've written uh, type all your answers here make sure you've corrected as any spelling and everything then that's then that's the end of the test it says your test has finished all your answers have been stored please wait for further instructions so I believe the reading test is the last test um, to do it's like RAM listening reading and then writing test and then after that would be the speaking test which is a face-to-face -face interview as usual it hasn't been changed only the writing the reading and the listening test are computer based so this is how they the writing test looks like on a computer based IELTS exam so for the writing reading and listening click the link below on on this um, video and you will see how it looks like on the computer based exam so thank you again for watching hope you enjoy this video 
if you haven't subscribed yet click the subscribe button and I'll see you again next time goodbye